I'm amazing. Did you help? Hey, I, I, and in a way I helped, yes. Mm. I forget who she was. <laughs> <laughs> Were you a real ladies' man back then? Uh, I was... I, I say it now because my face is falling off. Now, but yeah. I, when I was young, I was good-looking, you know. And if I'd only known I was good-looking, I'd have played more cards, you know, like that. <laughs> meaning, meaning what? Because well, uh, lay, lay more birds or play more cards, about the same. You would have had more women. Play more, yes, of course, That's what yes. You're trying to say. Yes. You didn't have enough, or did you, did you regret? I had enough, everything? but I could have done with more. Okay, anything else you want to tell us? I don't even want to give you a subject. Just pick. Go on. Well, uh, you, you say I'm, I'm like I'm obsessional about children. I love children. I think if I'd have had my way, I'd have suppressed them from going up to the age of eight. Up to that time, they're delicious. I had some wonderful experience with my children. Like I was in the toilet one day, and my son knocked on the door. He's about five. I said, who is it? He said, it's San Manel. <laughs> You, you can't argue with them, can you? Tell, tell the, the Christmas father Christmas story. Oh, yeah, my, my daughter, Sile, came running up one, when she was about six. Said, nah, nah, nah. So what is it? Who is he? I'll make him marry you. <laughs> and, uh, you haven't got AIDS, have you? No, I'm clear. Well, you have now. <laughs> uh, anyhow, so this little daughter of mine said, Dad, Dad, Sean says, Sean says it's my son. He's a monster. He looks like, like porridge on legs. <laughs> And uh, she said, Sean says there's no Father Christmas. I said, well, you tell him there is a Father Christmas. I've got the receipts. <laughs> so she, she, she went away happy, and when the wife and I on Christmas Eve were taking the toys up to her, we, we found a note by her bed. If I can remember it dead right, it said, um, Dear Father Christmas, my brother Sean doesn't believe in you, so when you come tonight, belt him. <laughs> Love, Chile. There was a P.S. It says, P.S. There's a hammer under my bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Right, yeah. Another time, my son, he came in, he got a, uh, a pound note. Yeah. I said, where'd you, where'd you get that? He said, I said, somebody lost it. I said, how do you know? He said, I saw the man looking for it. <laughs> But they, they say some things which are so, so incredibly beautiful you could cry. I was in a very bad depression one day, and I was driving, I went to pick up my daughter from school, and I was really down. And she was about seven. I, she said, are you sad, Daddy? I said, yes. She said, never mind. When we get home, I'll give you a nice drink of water. <laughs> uh, I thought that was so beautiful and poetic, yeah. <laughs> anyway, when they grew up, did you like him as much? Yes, we still, I, I love my family. I'm, I, that's one of my obsessions, my family. I phone them every day and... Uh, <laughs> From where? And, and reverse the charges. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to be when you grow up? Tall. Okay. Tall. Uh, no, I don't think I'll ever grow up, Ruby. I've always been a sort of child at heart. I always have been. I'm obsessed with children. I just love children, that's all. Well, thank you very much for coming out. Well, can I have it in cash? Yes, in gracing our lovely uh -huh. state. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thanks.